guys. Hello, uh, friend. Ooh. Welcome to the Rogue. Coffee. Check. Check. Morning. Today we're going to be doing a real world test of the iPhone 12 Pro. Um, and I feel like this is a, kind of a, the same beginning to the last video because we are in a car with these two guys. But this time, we're heading to Philly. Been to a service area on the New Jersey Turnpike. Subtle blend of American romance and deeply smelly trash. Have a great one, Jess. Thank you. Checking in. Okay, checked into the hotel. This is the Sofatel, which is like a French chain of hotels. Um, but we're staying here because one, it was a good deal. Two, it's in one of my favorite neighborhoods in Philly called Rittenhouse Square, which is just like super cute and just a nice place to like have as a home base while we're here. And also they have a lot of attention that they pay to like COVID precautions, as you could tell from my check-in process, for example. Um, so just reassuring, can't hurt. All right, real quick while we're here, let's talk about the look and feel of this phone. Now, firstly, it comes in four colors. And these colors, unlike the iPhone 12, which are kind of like poppy and bright, are a lot more subdued. And we have that like matte glass kind of finish on the back that I really like from the iPhone 11 Pro, which feels really nice. And we also have these straight edges, which are supposedly for the 5G antenna, the millimeter wave antennas that are around the device. But um, regardless, it kind of reminds me of like the iPhone 4. And I just, I don't know, I like the way that it feels in my hand. I like the clean lines. I think it's a little bit different and well, I just like it. Now for screen, we have a 6.1 inch OLED display instead of the 5.8 inch that the 11 Pro had. But it is just like that screen and that it's very bright, colors are vibrant um, and it's very sharp. I can see it just fine in the day, so it's good. One of the things that people are kind of disappointed about is that there's no fingerprint scanner. We were kind of hoping for that because the iPad had it in the power button and everybody's wearing masks nowadays, but it's not here. So you just have your face ID as usual. And lastly, we now have MagSafe. Um, so they've come out with a MagSafe Qi charger, which basically just like magnetically attaches to where the Qi charging pad is in the phone, and you can use that to charge it. But then this is also going to become a new family of accessories. So the magnets from the MagSafe part of this can be used to put cases on and then have wallets attached to that. And there's a bunch of companies already that are making mounts. And so you're going to see a lot more of that going forward. But right now, as basic as it is, I really want a cheesesteak. I always take a photo of my hotel room number because otherwise I, I forget it. Okay, so we ended up at a place called Cleaver's for a cheesesteak. Now, proximity to the hotel became a factor because we didn't want to walk an hour and a half to the one that I really wanted to go to, obviously. Um, so we went here instead. And we all got different cheesesteaks. I went with like a very traditional one. Fisher went with like a spicy one that had a lot of spicy mayo on it. And Amel went with one that had like marinara sauce on it. I don't know. And actually, it was good, but only the pieces that had like enough cheese. And there was only like half of it had cheese and the other half did not. And so there were some really good bites and there were some like less exciting bites. So I don't know. But what do you guys think? All right. As I explained, Fisher, the marinara sauce kind of, for me, ruined it a little bit. So I'm going to let Fisher explain his transcendent experience. Outstanding. <laughs> Which is exactly how it is. Mine was not great. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Right? The jury's out, clearly. <laughs> okay, and like we do, let's check in on the battery. It is 3.43 p.m. and we are at 
Okay, so we tried to see the Liberty Bell, but it closes at five, and the lady told us that the line is too long, that by the time we get to the front, it'll have closed. So, uh, try to get some photos through the window. Right, not the greatest shots of the Liberty Bell, I admit. Um, but at least we got something. And regardless, this building across from it, which was the Bell's first home, is fascinating to see too. Now, Philadelphia was once the capital of the US, and, and a good portion of that time was governed from here, which is now called Independence Hall. This was where the US Constitution was debated and drafted, the Second Continental Congress met, and it's even the symbol used on the back of the $100 bill. So it's just kind of cool to see. Okay, and let's check in on the battery. It is 4.57 p.m. and we are at Cheers, boys. Happy Philadelphia. Time real quick for a pre-dinner drink. Um, but real quick, let's talk about the cameras. Compared to the 11 Pro, the cameras are basically the same. We have our wide angle, main, and two times telephoto camera. The only differences really are that Apple put a faster aperture of f1.6 instead of 1.8 on the main sensor, and a new lens design that supposedly gives it better results in low light, along with a LiDAR sensor. And you can check out my video on what LiDAR actually is at the link below. And that's to help with autofocus, portrait mode at night, and augmented reality. Now, honestly, I can't tell too much of a difference in the autofocus personally in everyday use like this video, but some people have said that they can when they're doing low light tests. Now, the other difference, which is really a software thing if we're being honest, is that Apple allows the 12 series to do night mode and portrait mode on every camera instead of just the main one and the two times on the 11 Pro. And compared to the iPhone 12 non-Pro, they're identical, minus the two times telephoto lens that the Pro has that the 12 doesn't. All right, time to now actually head to dinner, but before we do, let's check in on the battery. It is 8.14 p.m. and we are at 32%. So the restaurant that we actually have reservations at, we really only comfortable with sitting outside and it, there's no heat lamps, no nothing, it's just cold. So now we're on a mission to find another restaurant with heat lamps. We found heat lamps. It has huge sandals. <laughs> okay, done having dinner at a little wine bar called Tria. Um, it was really good, actually, like our turkey sandwich. Fantastic. Um, but we're gonna continue on from here and uh, real quick, check on the battery. It is 11.02 p.m. We are at, ooh, we are at 19%. Hey Fisher, what'd you think of dinner? 
I thought it was one of the better turkey clubs I have had, but it was not the party in my mouth that that funky wine was. It's a pretty dope place, TBH. I like this place. Right, so everything here, just like in New York City, closes at 11 p.m. because that's just part of the rules of the curfew, like during COVID. But we happen to walk by a place that everybody's just kind of drinking outside on the street. And so we might try to get a beer or a margarita. Success? Can confirm. Okay, calling it a night. It is 1.32 in the morning, and we are at 8%. And here's my screen on time and my usage for anyone who's curious about that. Okay, as far as battery life is concerned, I would say, honestly, the way that it feels, it's probably a little worse than the 11 Pro, maybe close, but not as good. Um, I am, of course, curious to see how the Max does, because just like the 11 Pro, I feel like the 11 Pro Max did way better than the 11 Pro did, so maybe that'll happen with this as well. Now, if you guys want to see more iPhone reviews, don't forget to check out my two buddies, Michael Fisher, who's Mr. Mobile, and David Amell, who's at Android Authority. I'll leave links to those below. But yeah, there you go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below of the phone, of the video. How can I improve these? Um, been experimenting with this series, as you know, so always appreciate your feedback. It helps me decide what to do in the next one. Um, but if you like this video, please thumbs up and share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to subscribe so you can notify when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.